What is up everybody, this is Alec from AK Gaming bringing you a Black Ops 3 beta video uh, the first time on our channel, the Black Ops 3 beta videos we're planning both to get Black Ops 3 when it comes out in whenever it comes out, October or whenever um, but today I'll just be talking about the good things about the beta the bad things that I think need improving anything else that might affect the game when it actually comes out on release um, so first things first Black Ops 3, I've tried it. It's the first COD I've properly wanted since Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2. But Black Modern Warfare 3 was certainly the last very good COD that I liked. Um, but yeah, this Black Ops 3 beta has been brilliant for me. It's full of very good people because a lot of people that have pre-ordered it want the game badly and know how to play the game. Um, but generally, it's a very good game. There's a few things that can be like abused a bit, um, and I'm going to talk about how they can be improved for the for the uh, actual release, but first things first, the game's very very good, the climbing on the walls and stuff is very good when you double tap A and you run on the walls, that's, that's great, it's really useful to get to places without being noticed by a lot of people. Um, the game feels smooth, you can run easily, you can swim underwater which is brilliant and shoot people underwater which is absolutely fantastic, I love that feature. Um, and it just seems to be a very very fun game to play. There's a lot of different modes, all of them haven't been put on yet, but the four maps that I tried um, that are on the um, de uh, on the beta, like Hunted and Combined are very good, especially Hunted, it's probably my favourite map out of the four. Um, but I'm using the ARK-7, well I was using that before I started using a different gun, I can't remember its name, but yeah, very good machine gun. Um, but things like specialities which are new to Black Ops 3 I think, um, such a, so specialities where after a certain amount of time you, you press RB and LB and you get a certain sort of speciality, the one that you selected with your unlock tokens and you can change certain, certain things in the game, so the one I'm using right now when I get it, I press RB and LB and I get 200 points for every kill I get and I get more points for everything I do, uh, like assists and stuff um, so you normally get 100 points for a kill but I get 200 points with that and it really helps you get towards the score streaks and stuff uh, other specialities include like this big jump which you can use these boosts or something which can explode people I don't really know what it, how it works but uh, yeah they're really overpowered another one is vision pulse which you can see everyone moving and everyone's in bright, bright red um, you can see everyone in your in your near area um, every enemy so that's really useful and things like and things like specialities they can be abused such as the one where you are allowed to teleport back to somewhere when you've been when you're just about to be killed uh, it's really annoying if you're an opponent when you when someone else teleports back where they were and then shoots you and kills you but um, but things like that need to be worked on I think another things like the revive thing where there's a big puff of green smoke once you've died and then you get revived and I don't really understand it I haven't used that one yet but it's quite overpowered uh, I think it needs to be worked on for the game but generally I'm not a massive fan of CODs recently but this one's really good I, I, I'll probably be pre-ordering it if not definitely buying the game when it comes out and bringing videos up on that uh, for that when it actually does come out but yeah I'm really enjoying it the game feels smooth, so it combines like a map where you, it's quite a small map, so it's a bit, a bit like a new town. Um, the three checkpoints are really close to each other, you'll be seeing domination in the background here. Um, three checkpoints are quite close to each other, and it's another one where the B flag is really important to get. Um, and But combined, it's a really close map, there's a lot of kills happening. Um, there's a few other power places where you can go, like you can lie down across this sort of tunnel bit where people can run on the wall and get to you. Um, and it's quite, it's quite a hard place to uh, get. Well, it's quite a hard place to be seen, and it gets you a lot of kills if you go in the right place and get a sniper out or something like that. I haven't used a sniper yet, but some people they're not that overpowered, which is a good thing for me because I'm not a big fan of snipers um, normally on CODs. So when they're not overpowered, it's good for me because I don't like playing against them either, especially when people are good with them. Things that need to be worked on though, yeah, you know, like I said, the specialities and stuff. Um, and other things like that just a bit overpowered and sometimes you think they could just be improved on a little bit and patched patched a little bit, like EA do with their FIFA and stuff. Um, but overall it's a really good game. Um, Hunted is a map where you can swim underwater and I like Hunted because it's a big map, it's a fairly big map. There's a lot of things to do on it, a lot of buildings to go in, a lot of things to try out. Um, you can go under this waterfall, you can swim under this waterfall and shoot people. Um, it's a really good map, you can get a lot of kill streaks on it if you go in the right places. Uh, there's places to run on the walls, places to jump out of the water and stuff. It's a really fun map. Yeah, I can't wait for the Black Ops 3 when it comes out on the actual console. Uh, it should be really good fun. 
and I can't wait to buy it. I'd highly recommend it to anyone if it's anything like the Black Ops 3 uh, beta was. Um, and hopefully with less skilled people, I'll be able to, it will be easier to get kills and stuff in the actual game when it actually comes out. Um, but yeah, it'll, I'm sure with things like Zombies and the other maps that I haven't tried that are not on the beta um, and the campaign, it'll be a really good experience and I'd highly recommend buying it for the actual release date. So overall, very good game. I'd highly recommend buying it. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below any other Black Ops 3 beta videos you want to see or any Black Ops 3 videos you want to see when the game actually comes out because the Black Ops 3 beta is very close to ending now. I'll probably be doing a stream on it soon. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. We've reached 150 subscribers. Thank you everyone for so much for that. It really means a lot. But um, I'm going to leave you with the rest of the clips in this video. So I'll see you all next time and peace.